So this is going to be a quick tutorial showing you how to use the Kernu Cream Arpeggiator in Samplitude Pro X. I'm going to the first track here and from VSTI I'm going to Kernu Cream X64. The first thing you need to do is go to where it says Plugin and choose VST MIDI Out. Make sure that's ticked. If that's not ticked it won't work. So you must do that. VST MIDI Out. So I'm going to choose a preset here in random, right, bass D. Next thing to do is choose track 2 and I'm going to add a synthesizer to it. We'll try the analog VA2. Just to turn on the monitoring so I can hear it. So I'll go to bass. Right, that's good. So what we need to do is feed the Kernu Cream into the ultra analog. At the moment what we've done is enabled VST MIDI out from the Kernu Cream but we need to facilitate so that the output from the Kernu Cream comes into the ultra analog. So to do that we need to go to MIDI where it says in and choose VST MIDI out recording. Now make sure you have the monitoring enabled for both and now when I play a note on my keyboard it should be triggering the arpeggiator and creating an arpeggiated version in ultra analog. So that's working. So you can record either the single note into the arpeggiator track. I'll try that now. Right, so when I play that back, it will be triggering the ultra analog. Or the other way to do it would be to um, record enable the ultra analog. I'll leave monitoring on for the kernel cream. And now when I play my keyboard, it should record the actual resulting sequence into the ultra analog track. So I'll try that. see what's happening there. It's recording the one long note I'm holding but also the individual arpeggiated notes which have been recorded as well. So you'd need to delete the original note so that works. Another method would be to record the trigger notes for the Kernu Cream track and then use them to trigger the actual synthesizer on the second track. So that's recorded the trigger notes. So now I'm going to record enable the second track and play it back and record it. So that's recorded, but you need to make sure you mute the arpeggiator track so you don't get a double trigger happening. So that's basically how you set up the Kernu Cream Arpeggiator to work in Samplitude Pro X.